everyone, <laughs> and welcome <laughs> to Airport CEO, where uh, we are tasked with creating our own successful airport company here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I played a little bit of this on stream a couple times. It is quite an in-depth system. So um, be prepared for something interesting. Um, it, it's... Well, basically, I'm just going to have to go over things as we are doing it, I think. So, uh, hopefully, people can uh, see what it's all about. Not many good uh, avatar options here. Apparently, they don't know how to draw eyes too well. But that's fine, you know. Let's just pick a suit and go. There we go. First name, Uthris. Uh, uh, Athar? Athar, yeah, sure. Uthris Athar. All right, so we are going to start our airport, and I am going to actually come over here and uh, see if I can't find Parkersburg, West Virginia. Uh, this is basically where I grew up. I actually grew up right here on this little tip, and there is the Wood County Airport about, uh, about yay, I think. So we're going to go here. Airport name. Um, let's go ahead and call this... Uh, uh, Athar Air, uh, A-A-R, and we will, I guess we'll do some mountains, because, you know, we're, we're in West Virginia, um, and we'll go with moderate difficulty, because why the heck not? Anything that says easy is too, too Care Bear for me. We're just going to get started here. All right, let's see, a whole bunch of stuff welcoming to the game. Um, a little bit of a UI overlay pops up first, but I'm going to quickly kind of ignore this and jump pretty much straight into it. I'm going to pause so we don't, you know, waste any money uh, sitting here. But you can see kind of how big of our map is. We have a little bit of a road coming in, plenty of field. And eventually, I think over time, we'll be able to unlock uh, these things uh, with more space and facilities. So what we are going to start out with is we need to take a look at some of the sidebar. Now, the sidebar is a little convoluted. Um, I think I've seen a few people complain about it, and that's fine. UI is super important with a lot of management games, um, but as you get used to it, you know, it's not too bad. You just have to try and find out where everything is. So, we are going to go ahead and go to, I believe, employees. We're going to go to the board. Okay, so here's us, CEO, Uther Sathar, and uh, we're going to open all of these for applicants, okay? Because we're gonna have to fully staff our board. This is a super important kind of first step here. All right, and we are going to kind of start with a general aviation. So you can do general aviation and, um, there we go, so general aviation or commercial flight. So I wanna start with kind of a dirt, kind of grass strip, and then hopefully as we kind of stabilize our money situation, we can slowly expand to do larger and more commercial flights. So, you know, this will be interesting as to what we do. And to start out, um, let's go ahead, go to operations. You always want to accept GA, perfectly fine. You can set certain landing pads and, and parking spots for GA only or commercial only or vice versa. So, you know, we're going to have a, a nice GA kind of hoard holding area uh, so people can park their planes overnight and you know they will get kind of passive income from it we can also refuel them eventually as well currently we're closed and our security is closed but that's fine since everything is basically shut down at this point I am going to slightly play the game a little bit just so we can get some applicants rolling in for later and let's start with I guess a runway I think a runway is gonna be good so we're gonna we're gonna do a small runway and this is going to take 10% of our money. Okay, runways, very expensive piece of the puzzle, but also a very necessary piece of the puzzle here. And I think what I want to do, I don't want to put it too far, right? So we're going to space this out a bit. I think for now, we'll just have one runway like that. So uh, we got a... 360 and 180 as the heading. So that's a north-south runway, very common. Um, you can, of course, do a uh, east-to-west runway as well. So that's going to, you know, you'll see the supply trucks coming in from the south. They'll come up here to our cargo drop-off area, drop off stuff there. Our workers will uh, get dropped off here, and they'll start building. So we've set off our airport. I'm going to go ahead and repause the game just because, you know, you can see we're losing $100,000 an hour. That's something to be mindful of. 
I'm gonna set up some crosswalks for later. Um, I think here, here, and we'll go ahead and extend the road a little bit. Because I'm sure that's not gonna be the final spot. So we have some crosswalks coming up here. Um, because we're doing a general aviation, we actually don't need to have much of a passenger parking or turnaround area. Um, and we don't really even need a terminal until we start really doing some commercial flights. So we let the game play a little bit. So let's go over to applicants in the sidebar here. And we can see everyone kind of applying for jobs. Um, you can filter by the specific job that you want. So let's look at the CFO first. You can see they have different hourly rates. They have different stats. And they do matter. All right. Uh, but also, of course, higher the stats means higher the cost. Uh, I like this 97 guy. He's very even across the board. Um, and pleasantness, you know, I don't think matters too much. So I'm perfectly fine with them just being uh, good across the board there. So we'll go ahead and hire him for the CFO. We go to CIO or COO. It looks like uh, we have no one here applying to these positions yet. So that's that's perfectly fine. If we go, I think, in procurement tab up here. Yeah, we need a procurement director first. So let's see. If we go to applicants and procurement director, anyone applied yet? Nope, not yet. And that's perfectly fine for now. Um, so this runway, all right, is going to need a taxiway, right? You know, you're going to need places for the planes to pull off and uh, get on and off this this runway here and I prefer three wide for these things so nothing too fancy here so we'll go three wide this way right because again this is a general aviation thing it is not not indeed um, a a very serious kind of heavy commercial airport yet so let's find about where the center point is which is about here and we'll just do a nice kind of, uh, need to keep it an odd number, just so that, actually this might be the center point. If you hold control, you can delete uh, the same object that you're working on. So that's, this is kind of our, our runway setup. We have an entrance to the south, to the north, and one in the middle, in case people uh, do a short landing and they're able to actually get off at that point. Now, in theory, you know, we could have one a bit higher up here that way they can get off a little bit sooner but you know i think this is fine for now um i'm gonna come in about a middle point and we're going to go about three by six off from there and then same thing here so about a middle point again three by six and so what we're doing is essentially making it so we have a bottleneck here a bottleneck here they can either go this way they don't, wouldn't really want to go this way too much and then this will actually take them to where our parking is going to be. Um, we're going to end up making the commercial flights go this way. And potentially, I don't know for sure. In fact, I do want to kind of test this. I didn't test it before. But it looks like you can't really have an intersecting runway, which is kind of interesting. You can have it end to end, though. So we'll, we'll see how that progresses later. Um, but we have this nice flat space set up here that we can put a whole bunch of small stands and we're going to leave them grass they're the cheapest they're twenty thousand each and you can see this little red plane marker is marking out where um this needs to be hooked up onto the taxiway to be loaded and unloaded basically safely here um right so let's let's get rid of this corner so we're gonna do one two and then same thing back here three four five six and then in the middle what i can do is go to infrastructures i believe and get a vehicle depot right there in the middle and uh, this will service all of these areas for us so if we get a vehicle depot we can store our vehicles there we can also go into infrastructure and build a service road we're going to have to mark this off as grass as well and connect these up because these stands get roads automatically on uh, one side and that's pretty good to take note of and that is decent amount 
to kind of get started building with, right? There's a huge area that our builders are going to be busy with. And so we might as well just go ahead and accept that contract and get underway, right? All right. So let us go to, I think, contracts. And here you can see you can hire workers. And the way this works is um, you can get your hourly rate and how many people you can hire. So 7.7, 7.7, and 7.7. .7. All of them have 68 people to hire, and I think that's perfectly reasonable. So we'll go ahead and sign off on this and uh, get them hiring. We'll go ahead also into uh, construction right down here and deploy all. And what that's going to do is call our boys in, the roll up, and uh, start taking care of the job that we have set up. Now, while they roll up, you can see our supplies are, are being dropped off in our cargo depot. And our uh, workers will arrive via buses into this location. They're gonna be dropping off a lot of supplies. Our people will be working like ants for a little while. You can see we're starting to lose a lot of money quickly. Okay. So, we are going to set up the taxiway at this point, which is basically the pathfinding that you want our planes to take to and from these runways, just like that. And there we go. Good. All right, and make sure to hook these up to the red plane here, which makes these runways uh, usable, or, or stands, you could say, or parking spots, more or less. So we're gonna be able to have six planes basically at all times. You can see our workers are arriving, getting off their bus. Um, traffic is gonna be a bit of an issue here initially. We don't really have an expanded uh, cargo delivery system right now, but um, hopefully they'll get to work on that quickly. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and just put it on double speed so we can continue working. I think at this point, we might have some more applicants. All right, good, yep, we have our procurement director. So again, looking for a little bit of a balanced portfolio and I think this one with 28.8 .8 is actually more balanced than uh, the 29.9 .9. so we'll go ahead and hire you so we have a procurement director and that means we can go over into the procurement department and we can start unlocking things now there are certain things that you kind of need to unlock for a general aviation airport you're gonna need the AV gas AV gas 100 liter fuel service right so this costs fifty thousand dollars to research it just requires an, an aircraft stand. So we're gonna go ahead, um, as soon as the aircraft stand is built, we'll start researching it. And that's going to allow us to build uh, fueling stations and fueling trucks so that we can get these planes serviced and on their way. And you make more money by fueling planes and you make more money um, actually getting that turnaround kind of quicker, you know? Now, uh, besides that, we should probably think about getting up a, a staff area soon, but we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that in just a moment. You can see the runway is built as a grass runway, very basic. We're gonna turn off commercial flights for now. We're gonna go ahead and just open the runway. No sense to really not to, our airport's closed. So even with an open runway, we are perfectly fine. We are getting little messages, right? We have little little inbox stuff. We get some spam in here, so you can just delete that. There's construction tutorials. So you guys starting out, go ahead and read these tutorials. They're quite in depth. Just follow it point A to point B and you'll be okay. Um, they are also in the manuals um, here. And they're very important. Um, when I first started playing, I had no idea what I was doing and it's very, very key. Okay, so we're gonna open open some of these stands. We're gonna turn on general aviation. And since we have these stands built, we can go back into contracts and procurement and start researching this. And you can see all these researchers are kind of time oriented, so it's gonna take six in-game hours to get there. And if that's the case, start them as early as possible so that you can kind of start making money as soon as possible. This is gonna be general aviation. Uh, and, and look at all these people. They're just they're just busy little bees out here in the field working working hard Or hardly working who knows um, We have a little bit of an issue With our runway being right here and that there's no good way to get a service road to this backside Is that like I don't think it's super necessary? Um, to have a service road just yet. 
but we'll, we'll find out here, hopefully, eventually, if, if that's really a requirement. Um, other than that, we need to go ahead and build a structure. We need to get a small air traffic control tower to start uh, directing traffic as they come into the area. So we're going to just put this on the corner here on the 360 side of our runway. We have our vehicle depot set up, which is good. We have no vehicles yet, but we'll be buying fuel trucks for it. All right, we're going to open these stands. And we are also going to go ahead straight into operations here. And we're just going to open our airport. And we should be getting flights at this point. Now, general aviation flights, we don't have to accept or schedule. Uh, these guys are just kind of uh, private plane old, you know, owners. And they want to um, actually kind of maybe store, refuel their plane at our services here. So, um, you know, not much more than that necessary, but, you know, there's a little, little bit of a good information to know. Uh, taxiway, we can look into maybe putting the taxiway a little bit down this way. That way for later we can have more, st more um, general aviation spots here. Now we only have one runway, so this runway is going to be very busy with so many open spots. And uh, that's something we're going to have to think about as well. Um, let's see. Maybe we can go ahead and go into the applicants menu and take a look. Uh, we have a procurement director. Let's get the uh, CFO. We'll just hire the cheapest one for now. Really, I don't think these guys are super important. Uh, we get CIO and the COO. And then HR director, you. Okay, good. Let's just just make sure our board looks like we need a strategy uh, director. So let's go over here and find that. There we go. And hire you. Okay. I think for now that's that's a decent way to start. You can see we are currently losing money, but that's kind of to be expected at this point. All right. A lot of the construction is complete. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and dismiss almost all of our contractors. And what that's going to do is going to cut their salary off. They won't be draining as much of our money, which is good. And there is our ATC. So we have air traffic and control set up, which basically means our runway is open and I believe operational at this point going forward now if we go oh look look at that we got our first little little plane now it doesn't know where to go i think that's a problem uh due to my runway if we go to the runway nodes again we're gonna go ahead and set up a holding point here and uh we will set up another one on the other end about there I think we're gonna need one in the middle as well. Do I have this perfectly aligned to the edge of the runway? I think I do, so there we go. So holding points, very similar to any of the train simulation games. You guys have seen me play on, the, on this channel before. They're essentially like signal gates um, with trains. So um, as they go through these, they're basically holding point. So if we go over here and in fact go to taxiway node, what we'll do is, let's go three. We're gonna have a holding point there. All right, one, two, three. Here, right? And then this one we can put here because I think this bit of traffic is more important than these guys. So you can go ahead and just lay out all these little, little spots and gates. And now you can uh, kind of manage your traffic flow quite nicely at this point. So we're getting all these little Cessnas, Cessnas 182s. These are the general aviation aircraft. Um, very small planes, usually just a few passengers. And you can see uh, their inspection progress and you can see kind of their fuel level. So they're basically gonna park here. This guy probably needs more fuel and things, um, but they're gonna pay a flat fee to uh, store their vehicle in parking. And that's gonna give us a little bit of income. So this grass strip is kind of 
how I suggest starting out. I also enjoy starting out with general aviation. That way you kind of get flights coming in and out and you don't have to worry about it. We have no flights in the traffic pattern, but we should get more throughout the day. Oh, wow, okay, there's there's one right there. And another Cessna 182. It looks like you are going to uh, Charleston, which is up there. All right. And you are going to Nashville. And you are going to Monroe Regional Airport. So, you know, people are kind of flying all over from the United States. And, and that's pretty interesting that you can get kind of that, that traffic. And it's pretty cool that the system references real airports. And that's why they have that little map. I might have to move my air traffic control back from this a little bit. I don't like how close the wingtips are to this building. So it's 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 a it's a concern. Let's go over here to our inbox. Ah, it looks like our contract is done. Researching our procurement, I believe. If we go to structures. Yes, yeah, so now we have access to the fuel depot and the fuel tank. So if we want to go ahead and start refueling these guys, we can. Um, thinking about it, we don't have that outside connection. So there's no way for the refuel trucks to come in from the main road and get to these fuel depots that we're going to be building here. And that is a concern. Okay. So that means we need to bring the road all the way up here, make a service entry point, and then down and around. Boy, I did not, I did not plan that ahead at all very well. Um, I never tried to put the, put the holding points on the opposite side of the road. Usually my runway is farther away and then everything else is in between. So this is, this is different, but I, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the challenge. So let's go ahead and build up a bit of a road. So we're going to go up about $2,000 worth of main road. We will then switch to a checkpoint, which is the transition from highway to service roads. Can I build a service road across the runway? I can not. So the service road is going to have to go all the way up. We're going to leave a gap. Just, you know, you don't want people landing, landing short and taking out your service road, right? They can cross taxiways, though. So that's kind of good information to have. Now, they can't really... Oh, there we go. They can't really uh, do it at an angle. So, you know, everything is going to be square here initially. But that's okay. Alright, so we're going to have to call the boys back in. Deploy all. Alright. We'll go ahead and speed up time just a little bit and we can go back into the procurement you can see there's a filled fuel truck have gas 100 liters so we're gonna have to order I think we'll have to try and have two trucks for every three so I'm gonna go ahead and order or not I guess I need the fuel service first that, that's fine it, it, it knows what I need so let's go ahead and Build that structure for the fuel depot. Actually, we might end up needing two of these eventually. So I'm going to off-center it. That way, if I had to build a second one, it can be there. Or we can just expand into more fuel tanks. That's another option. It could look kind of neat to uh, have a few of these sticking off. Okay. All right. So the highway is being constructed. I apparently picked not the grass service road type, which is a little annoying. Yeah, I, don't, I would have to actually deconstruct this whole service road to get rid of that. But uh, for now, I'm okay. Eventually, this will be updated to concrete anyways, so I'm not overly worried about it. So we have access to there, which means they will now go ahead and start constructing our fuel depot. Look at them work there. And there's little progress bars above their head to see where they're at. And as soon as that's done, we will go ahead and try and save money by sending these guys these guys home. All but, uh, you know, eight, just like before. So we'll go ahead and dismiss that. 
All right, our planes sitting here overnight. Generally just paying $13 every hour or so, 30 minutes maybe, even quicker. $13 every 10 minutes, jeez. We have uh, the fuel depot built, which is empty right now. However, since it's connected to the outside road way, um, you'll see and just hopefully, I think maybe in the morning, I don't know if it'll happen tonight. So we'll go ahead and actually fast forward to the next day, which really speeds up time. And you can really see the money offset that we're getting from these parked planes, which is good. All right, so it's the next day. It's about about four in the in the a.m. and we get to see what comes out of this. I'm trying to decide if I want to have a point here or not. Let's go ahead and extend the taxiway nodes down because it'll be important to do so eventually, anyways. I could fit a few over here as well but i want a pretty large general aviation hangar and then our main airline hangar will i guess be up here um it's gonna be a, quite a large airport but there's plenty of room you know plenty of room and as you uh, progress things kind of compound onto itself so here we go taking off heading 180 into 168 to erie international tom ridge field eri um, have a safe flight. Have a safe flight. Oh, we got a push back back here in 59020. Uh, going to Nashville International Airport, BNA. Have a safe flight yourself. Status is operational on that. I want to know where my fuel truck is. Oh, wait. <laughs> I haven't accepted a contract for fuel yet. So there's contracts that you accept. Um, there's some jet fuel. Don't really care about that. I do want the AV Gas 100 LL though. That is the type of fuel station we currently have. So 0 0.004, 0 0.004, 0 0.009 a liter. It looks like they are the same. So we'll go with AV fuel. Look at all these planes coming in and using our runway. Our runway also, you can see just a little bit. It looks like there's there's some markings on this thing as we progress. Oh, look, fuel truck arriving. Good. So we can go into procurement now and get the trucks that we need. So we're going to get two of these. So it's going to take 44 minutes. They'll spawn basically directly straight into our cargo bay. And then if a plane, such as this one, probably doesn't need fuel, probably won't buy for it. He's probably just paying for parking. Uh, this guy up here, still fine. Uh, this guy has a little low fuel, so... He might need some, which would be interesting. We're not offering any inspection service. So right now our pilots are kind of in charge of themselves. Let's go over into four times normal speed. We have another mail receipt for, for, the, for the fuel truck. Oh, look, our fuel trucks are arriving. And we have a whole bunch of planes. We're about to have all of our stations uh, full up here. So fuel truck is here. He's going to pull in. He's going to fill up with, with some, some gas. So you can fill up two trucks at a time, which is plenty. We only have two trucks anyways. That's 100% efficiency right there. This guy. And he's going to come on down here and uh, either park or go fill up, fill, fill up some planes. Um, doesn't look like anyone wants anything though, so that is a factor. We might need to turn on ground services. Oh, here we go. There is our services for the AV Gas 100 LL there. So we go ahead and turn that on. Speed up time, see if any any of these vehicles pops out. Nope. Not just yet. So maybe no one wants any fuel. Well, at least the people that are parked here might not want any. I mean, all of them are pretty good. Uh, this guy just landing, though. Another one taking off. You can barely see his shadow there. And our runway is slowly taking some somewhere in tear. Oh, look at this. He's going to go fuel it up. And you can see how much money we make off of this. Boom. 
You can see we're getting about a thousand plus an hour in income from that. He's now gonna go over and uh, not do anything else. Oh, no, okay, that's fine. It's like it's like watching an ant colony. You're you're just so excited to see them move and do things. All right, so we have a holding pattern forming, which is good. A little bit of a cue to get out. We have uh, zero flight in pattern, which basically implies that these guys will be able to just leave back to back, I believe. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're heading on out. Guy just parked uh, in 8576, going to Indianapolis International Airport, IND. Never been to that place. And there we go. And our runway is getting more and more scuffed up as these planes come and go. And we make money every time a plane lands and takes off, which is really good. So at this point, our uh, general aviation is up and running. Um, if you guys are enjoying Airport CEO, do leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, the plans for the future, let me know that as well. We hopefully switching to commercial relatively soon. I think I want to extend our GA Airport just a little bit more. And then we will start worrying, I think probably episode three, maybe four, into getting a proper commercial side to this thing underway. Yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be interesting. All fuel going up there. All right, so until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next video.